Let's get to it, man. I don't know what to expect from this. I've heard some conflicted things about this game. Apparently, Chibi and Muppet love it. Some people aren't too fond of it. From what I've seen, people are more fond. Like, 2 is the, the most beloved one. I have no idea what to expect from this. Neither from the cast, the story, or anything of the sort. Oh, and by the way, I've already told Chibi this, but... It's looking like the Danganronpa 2 streams won't be uploaded on YouTube. I had this hard drive. Do not buy this hard drive. Hey, appreciate you, Russ, for the subscription. Two months. Appreciate you, big boy. Do not buy this fucking hard drive. Don't do it. Do not buy this. Put it in a camera. Corporate number one. You were the, you're the one who did it. Blame this motherfucker. So, my PC is old. It doesn't have that much storage. So, I was having all the streams on my PC. I knew I couldn't keep all the streams up there because old, old ass PC. I don't have that much memory. So, I had bought a hard drive thinking, okay, I'll put the streams on a hard drive, then I can delete the videos off my PC, which I did. Moved all the streams to this thing right here, deleted the streams from my PC, thought it was cool. I go back into my hard drive. Most of the Danganronpa streams from the first game were fine. Up until the last chapter, which I had a lot of problems with, but I got it solved. But when you go looking for the Danganronpa 2 videos, completely corrupted completely corrupted you i can't even view the video and i've tried a multitude of repair software uh, i've tried to do some coding myself not working out i've done a lot of things so only options at this point is to not do it at all <laughs> which i'm probably leaning towards that or i don't know try to find somebody somewhere out there to hero some nigga like that to try to repair the videos because the videos are still on this hard drive i can't access it i can't edit it they're unplayable videos they're uneditable video un eti edible videos i don't know if that's a word inedible whatever that's where we're at with those videos so you might not see it on youtube at all now that i know that this hard drive is a piece of shit Moving forward, V3 should be good. But that's how it's looking. Okay? So, unfortunate. I hate to leave things incomplete like that, but I don't know what to do. On to it, though. New game. Let's get it, bro. All right. So, the first game, I did kind. The second game, I did normal. Let's go for it. Grind set. We playing that bitch on mean. I feel like I'm a vet detector. You know what I'm saying? I didn't come in this motherfucker, you know, breast smelling like Simlac, wet behind the ears. We come in this bitch a whole different swag. You know what I'm saying? I already played one. I played two. Anime done. You know what I'm saying? I got the gray in my dress now. Different, different fucking Satsuki. I know how to play this bitch. As long as y'all don't do that. Hangman Gambit shit you your bitch ass pulled last time. I should be good. Nobody ain't played a spare girl. Stop hyping this up. I ain't played that one. Okay. Just watch that. Yeah, we watched that. You're I'm doing some shit I don't want to do, and it's tedious, so this is something to listen and, uh, to and watch. What, what are you doing? You going to church or something, bro? This story is not over. So how are we going to implement Junko this time? A new killing game will begin again. Alright, who are these whack-ass niggas?
All right, so before 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 I do anything, right here, right now, anybody in the chat, right here, right now, call your bets. Who is going to be my favorite character in this series? Call your bets. All you niggas to claim you know me, niggas always think they know my taste, they know the character. Call your shots right now if you real. Call your shots. And I don't want to hear two, it might be this one, it might be that one. No, bitch ass nigga. Pick one. Put all your eggs in one basket and call it right here. Who is going to be my favorite character in V3? Who? Who? Take your bets. And when I put this on YouTube, same fucking question. Comment that shit immediately. Don't edit. Don't edit your comment. Call it. Nothing. No light. No sound. No form. No voice. No knowledge of who I am. Who am I? Who am I? I extend a hand. A hand that belongs to no one. To take hold of my existence. Oh, I thought I was a dude. This is me. Oh, they made me a girl this time? Okay. Detect this Satsuki? Okay. My name is Kaede Akamatsu. Kaede, I can remember that. I just remembered who I am. This you playing as a girl this time? Interesting. Me. I better got I better have swagger though. Who don't got no hope? It's Mrs. Hope in this bitch. I'm the protagonist of this crazy story. And my preferences didn't change. I'll turn this whole bitch into a Yuri. We not we not dating no niggas. Fuck y'all thought. I'm still I'm still a nigga inside. We trans now. Ultimate revival. I'm back. Yeah, you seen that? I just hopped out that hopped out that motherfucking closet. Yeah. Pride flag on the chest. Where the holes at? Yeah, that's me. What you trying to? Nah, nah, nah. I stumbled out of the locker in the daze, but as soon as I did. Oh, wait, why am I doing this deep voice? I fell on the floor. I can't do a girl voice. My voice too deep to do a girl voice. I couldn't even brace for impact. This blinding pain suddenly rushed through my head. Look at that. <laughs> but thanks to that pain, I went from days to annoy real quick. Huh? Hold on, you need to do some of the voice act acting. Kaede, I ain't gonna do this all day now. Huh? Wait, where am I? What is this place? Fuck it, we still doing the deep voice. We Glorilla in this bitch. I rub my throbbing forehead. Yep, this is definitely going to leave a bump. I looked around. Classroom. I got the uh, the speakers in there. Uh, play the girl, Glorilla. Hey, we hopping out in red light, twerking on them headlights. Barbed wire on the uh, damn barbed wire with the with the bars. Where am I? What am I doing here? Glorilla don't sound like that. My oh shit. Uh. This is just a dream. I just have to pitch myself, right? So I pinched my cheek. But all that did was make my head hurt in two places instead of one. Um. Okay, hold on a sec. Let's just stay calm and think this through. Confused as I was, I tried to remember how I ended up here. But no matter how hard I tried, in the end, I just couldn't. Bam! Who lumped me the fuck up? I still got hands now. Suddenly, the locker next to mine started swaying and shaking, making all kinds of noise. Oh, somebody in the closet too? Hold on, let's get let's get this Yuri started. Yeah, who in there? As I fearfully turned around, the locker door slowly opening. It better ah, oh, it's a nigga. A boy came stumbling out. You don't, I don't play. I don't play like that. I'm sapphic. A normal boy dressed in a school uniform. In fact, he might be a high school student, too. He looked bewildered, and when he suddenly lifted his head. He screamed as if he just seen a monster, fell on his butt and scooted back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you definitely can't be my love interest. Yeah. Sorry. 
Who, who are you? Are you with those other guys? Huh? It's possible, apparently. The people who kidnapped me. Um. Wait. Wh where am I? What are you going to do to me? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> ah! Hey. I firmly gripped his shoulders. You know? Wake up, bitch! What's your name? Huh? Huh? Uh, um. Shuichi Saihara. Sa yeah. I'm Kaede Ak Akamatsu. Now listen to me, Shuichi. Where are the holes at? Shut up! You're not the only one who's confused right now. Huh? Talk to him! See, finally I got an MC who ain't soft. Makoto would have apologized or something. I'm sorry for hopping out the closet before you. I apologize. I just wanted to give you hope. After making him shut up, I retrace my steps again. What chibi bitch ass at? That's right, I was kidnapped too. Whoa! Usual route to school when all of a sudden someone shoved me into a car. Whoa! Why they butt naked? Ah! What are you trying to do to me? Is that Andrew Tate? Oh my god, Andrew Tate got me! No! I shouted for help, but no one came to rescue me. Fuck. Everyone tended like nothing happened. I'm trying to fight I back. Think how rotten the world is. I didn't put on my good shoes. And then I lost consciousness. That's right. And when I woke up, I was inside that locker. Huh? Same with me. Were we kidnapped by the same people? No, you were kidnapped by the... You was probably one of them, nigga. Show me them jeeks. I can I can tell by the diameter. Uh, it seems like it. Jeez. But why me? My family's not rich and I'm no one special. I'm just a normal high school girl. We not doing that, Kaede. You need to have a talent, bro. We not doing this. I'm just your everyday bitch. I want somebody... Fuck, man. If this was a webtoon, I'll have some all kinds of crazy ass powers. Fuck, man. I'm tired of being an average nigga, bro. I ain't even got to be the best, nigga. Just let me. Let me. You know what I'm saying? Let me have some pocket. Uh, okay. Me either. I'm just a regular guy. Yeah, okay. You sweating when you sweating when you said that, bro. We Three sweat beads? Lie. <laughs> That's L I E. Lie. Morgan, and this, and this is a school, right? Why did they take us to a school? Um. I wonder why. Think you're going to like Himiko? Okay. Hey there, I'm sure you're confused right now. You're thinking, where am I? Well, I can't explain that, but I can give a basic explanation about the controls. Use the L stick control. Bro, well, shut the fuck up. Oh wait, they they actually introduced something new. Wait, hit objects. Hit objects? What? Huh? Oh, I'm slapping the fuck. Oh, I'm slapping the. Hold on. Oh, 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 I'm slapping the fuck out of niggas. I'm slapping the fuck out of niggas, bro. Yeah, hold on. Nigga. Hold on. Mm. Yeah, nigga. Call me Steve Bomber. Oh, you niggas gonna regret this. And I'm getting I'm getting money off of this. This bitch thirty as hell. There we go. Oh what? I did all that for nothing. That's a blackboard, right? Every classroom has one, but this blackboard is also an LCD screen. That's something that you don't see every day. So that's what we're gonna get our announcement. Monitor. Is this a monitor? Nothing's being displayed right now. Seriously though, what is it? it? It really seems out of place here. So do I not have the the thing where I can like see all the objects I can interact with? Is that just not a thing on this game? Or is it because I got it on me? We woke up inside of these lockers. Well, why, would there, why we were, were we in these lockers in the first place? Hold on, let me look at the window. The outside of the window is covered in greenery and barbed wire. Why are the school windows covered in barbed wire? Okay, let me talk to your bitch ass. Um. 
Anyway, let's just stay calm and think. I'm sorry I shot at you earlier. I, I don't apologize. Oh, you know I'm the main character. I got that little cow lick. Yeah, that's the main character cow lick. Ooh. No. Yeah, yeah, you better be all right with it. I shouldn't have yelled at you. Hey. Anyway, this is this place is weird. You don't think we got caught up in something bad, do you? What the fuck do you think? We are in a room where the windows are covered with barbed wire and we were trapped in the closet, bro. What's going on? What have we gotten ourselves into? <laughs> where am I? Why was I kidnapped? Who kidnapped me? I don't understand this at all, but it doesn't matter. At least for now. Let's just get out of here as fast as we can and find some help. Uh, okay. Yeah, good idea. We ran as fast as we could to the classroom door and opened it with all our strength. But then... Hell yeah! Found you! Who is you? What? A, a monster? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Who the bitch ass nigga in the Gundam? That, that's Josh? Josh? Th this is bad. We need to get out of here. Okay. I'm not scared, nigga. Stand in the pocket. Wait, 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 wait. Fuck you gonna do? What we? What, what's going in the classroom gonna do? <laughs> nigga, I got a slap button. Bro, I'm not running. I'm not running, bro. Fuck that. I'm not running. Fuck you gonna do? Do something, nigga. I slap the fuck out of you, bitch ass nigga. Where my slap button at, bro? I'm not running, bro. I'm not running. I'm not running. Kill me. Kill me, pussy. Kill me, then. Kill me. Do son. He not. I'm eating them bitches. He not even doing nothing to me, bro. This shit weak as hell. Fuck, I gotta run for, bro. He's not doing anything to me. Look, he's salt as hell. Fuck out of here. All that red on me. All right, bro. Let me go. I gotta, I gotta progress the story. Gotta make it look good. You lucky this first person because you look like Pito right now, bro. He's soft. Look, I got behind this nigga. I got the drop on him. I got the drop on this nigga. Slap him. Grab him by the tail. Sling it this bit. Wait, where? What the fuck? I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm supposed to be scared of these shits? Don't go that way. Over here. Whatever, bro. I'm not run. I'm. I walk. I walk. I walk. He's not gonna do nothing. He's soft. He's soft as fuck. All right. Now, now back to the gameplay. Yeah, we're live here in the school. You see all the vines and shit. Niggas need to mow the grass. You know what I'm saying? Get some weed cutters in the bitch. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you see these weak ass robots. Niggas got cut from the Wally movie. They mad as hell. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hey, bitch ass nigga. I'm I'm trying to tell everything to my to all my niggas in the chat. All right. So you know what I'm saying? Got the park benches right here. You little take a little rest when you you know what I'm saying? When these bitch ass niggas stop faking. Cause look, they're not doing nothing, bro. Look at that. Weak ass nigga can't even fit through the door. Why I gotta run? Oh wait. Okay, okay, yeah. But yeah, I can't do nothing, bro. Just, man, might you might as well just take me to my destination, bro. You should just teleported me the first time. Weak ass shit. I'm supposed to be terrified. Pull that robot's car as we frantic. I have, I've been running this frantically. Walk to this bitch. <sighs> Something we never expected to see. More people have arrived. Alright, who are these weak ass niggas? I'm looking at everybody in their eyes. You nigga all the way to the left, you look weak. Midget girl, you look weak. Hold on, that super midget look kinda tough though. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not gonna fuck with him. The super midget looks on different. Man, all y'all niggas look weak as hell. Matter of fact. How does the, the, the super midget 
Look, the tough look, look like the toughest. You look like you just got rejected from Yu-Gi-Oh! 5 Ds, nigga. Nigga in the middle. Uh, Shardy to the second right. Look, all right. That nigga's head don't fit his body. I guess the third girl to the right is all right too. The girl with the glasses, you look like somebody I don't fuck with. The nigga next to her though, he look he look cool. The girl all the way to the back look all right. Tan girl all right. But nah, it's, it smell it smell crazy in here. It smell like bitch in here. Yeah, y'all look y'all niggas looking kind of weak. I ain't gonna cap. <laughs> y'all niggas looking kind of weak, boy. Let's see, let's hear it. Let's see. Do you got a goatee? Do you belong here? Do you belong here? I don't think you belong here. Huh? Did you all get chased by that monster too? I ain't get chased. He showed me the way. I ain't get chased though. A nigga never ran the whole time. Uh, oh, yeah. Nah. What are they? What do they want with us? I don't know. But you sound thirty. Do you want me to check on what's happening? You can't. It's too dangerous out there. Some of these sound like the voices from that we got in two. It's likely that monster still lurks nearby. Wait. I shout at the top of my lungs. Who are you guys? And why am I here? <laughs> You're 36. And that makes 16. What? I'm talking about us. There are 16 of us, all high schoolers. Huh? Wait, what did I just do? Reaction voice. What do you think that means? I don't fucking get it. I guess I'll figure it out later. Oh. Oh, right. He looked like a fuck boy. I ain't gonna lie. You press A, I'm sure. Oh, right. Didn't answer your question. My name is Rantaro Mommy. Ron Taro. I'm sorry, but let's leave it at that for now. Okay, what? trying to be mysterious. You know, do you belong here, my boy? Anyway, why does it matter if there are 16 of us? There might be more coming. No. Now nah, I think this is all of us. If this is what I think it is, anyway. What? That's wrong. Oh. You might be right, but. Yeah, that's right. Huh? Is there a shut the fuck up option? Hey! What, you sound. Oh. Ha <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> That's what I'm here for. What, you some. You some kind of fucking know it all? If you know something, spit it out. The aggression, the wild hair. This, this is what I'm here for. It was at that moment an unknown voice suddenly echoed throughout the gym. Let what that nigga know. know. Okay, quiet, everyone. Shimmy down, shimmy, shimmy down, shimmy down. Hmm. No, no, no. It's simmer down. Them things. Oh, she's sixteen, Rex. What? Huh? Who's that? Where are they? Oh, you got your boys with you? <laughs> Thanks for bearing with us. Put your fist up, man. If it come down to it, it come down to it, bro. I'm gonna go out swinging, though. Are you serious? Damn it! There are more monsters. We're surrounded. Ah. We aren't monsters. They're ex existos. Is this those? And that's that. They're highly mobile bipedal weapon platform weapons platforms. Hell yeah! Should we take uh take these for a spin by killing one of them? Do something! <laughs> Do something then, nigga. It wouldn't be any fun picking on plain good for nothing commoners. <laughs> You're right, we should at least think of an interesting way to kill you. Maybe I'll pick you up and squeeze you till your guts come gushing out like toothpick. Man, shut up. Come out that fucking Gundam, nigga. Wait. Come out the Gundam then. See me. See me. Oh, I just imagine that. I can't handle gore. Y'all supposed to be like some fake ass Power Rangers? Why y'all got different colors like that? Well. 
then what if we start peeling off their limbs one by one like string cheese? Bro, we not scared. Nobody's scared. Nobody's scared. We can't kill them with these. Uh, I'm not saying this word. Y'all got it. They Gundams. According to the schedule, the Gundams aren't supposed to show up till later. What are you saying? But we're in the Gundams right now. Ah, oh, so we are. We screwed up. We're not supposed to be in a Gundams for our first. They keep saying this word, bro. Y'all must have got a sponsorship. I told you we should have read the script. What are you saying? No, you didn't. Well, why don't we just get out of these mechs? It shouldn't be too late for that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. So. Okay, ready? Yeah, come on, see me! See me! Come on! Say something, hold on. Talk to him real quick. That's right. That's right, come on. Oh, it's fucking Monokumas, Monotaro, Monosuke, Monofini? Mono, mo, mono Dom? Mono Kid? They are Power Rangers, bro. What the fuck is going on? What's going on? Huh? Y'all niggas about to get copyrighted. See, we're out of the Gundams. Now we're not scary anymore, right? Right? His desperation is strangely terrifying. You guys are ready? Yeah, they definitely use the same voice actors. Cause that's Patrick, whatever his name is. You punk asses better brace yourselves. <laughs> and he's just outright terrifying. That's right. I'm a messenger for hell for the depths of hell. Here to drag you down to hell. Hey. No, no, Mono Kid. You're saying hell too much. It's ruined a hellish impact. Hey. What's hellish mean? What? What's up with these stuffed animals? How are they moving? Um, I have no idea. Hey. Moving stuffed animals. Yeah. On top of that, it seems like they're calling themselves the Mono Cubs. Moving stuffed animals? Mono Cubs? Huh? Wait, you guys called yourselves the Mono Cubs? Speak up, nigga. So. Oh, don't bother asking Mon Monodon. He only talks to close friends. The years of abuse have really done a number on his heart. Y'all been slapping him up? Isn't that right, Mono Dom? Yeah. Mono Dom, you won't even open your heart to me? Y'all the one slapping him up. I see. Looks like I was right. Actually. This is exactly what I thought it was. Bitch, you didn't say nothing. But who's behind all of this? Why the ridiculous theatrics? Shut up. Shut up, you. All you... Bro, are they not going to voice act anything? What was the budget for V3, nigga? They took out all the voice acting? Damn, I'm on an island with this shit. They're going to have me voice acting everything, bro. Y'all not paying me. I paid $30 for this goddamn game. You better say something, bro. Speak up, nigga. We not paying you just for the music. All of you are reacting way too normally to this. It's boring. Hmm. Actually, don't their clothes seem kind of boring, too? I mean... You trying to hook a, hook a nigga up? City trends? Wait, y'all got one? Wait a minute. You think maybe they haven't been given their first memory yet? Yeah. Uh, so we got our memories taken again. Huh? That should have happened before they woke up. Hey, answer my question. If you guys are the Mono Cubs, then... Hey, who the hell are you punks? Huh? Huh? That is... What do you mean? What? We're just wondering, do you guys have ultimate talents or anything like that? I hope so. I, I hope so. No. I don't have one. I have a skill that I devote myself to, but I wouldn't call it an ultimate talent. What do you do? Uh, uh. Me either. I don't have anything like that. You look like you lying, Shuichi. You look like a liar, bro. Uh, okay. y yeah, same here. You look like you lying. Told you so. I knew it. They haven't gotten their first memory yet. Hey, Mono Mono F Fanny, weren't you in charge of that? Hook us up. You trying to fake sleep? She's sleeping. Did you seem Did she seem really tired to you guys? You faking? Stupid. She obviously faking it. Even if she's faking, she looks so peaceful. Let's whisper so we don't wake her up. If you say so. 
All right, so what's up with these fake ass re uh, Power Rangers rejects? What's going on? I thought we killed you niggas. Who cares? The real issue is used bastards. Well, issue was put in it mildly. This is actually a huge problem. Huh? Oh, oops, oops, oops. I skipped dialogue. Well, issue was put in it mildly. This is actually a huge problem. You've all forgotten your talents and become generic high school students. Huh? Forgotten? So. See, according to the bat story, there's this ultimate hunt going on. You've all lost your memories and become different people because of the ultimate hunt. Um, what are you talking about? Oh well. Well, in your current state, it's pretty much pointless to talk to you guys about this. Mm. The first thing we need you guys to do is remember your true selves. Right. Hook us up then. Yeah, you need to reclaim your sealed talents by regaining your memories. What? What the? Are you awake already? Why? I don't get it. What are these sealed talents you're talking about? How are we supposed to talk when you keep asking so many freaking questions? How are you going to get our talents you keep talking so goddamn much? And where the voice acting at? I'm going to say it again. We're not some swift-footed singer who's landed another future ex-boyfriend. Oh well. Let's do this already. No one wants to watch a bunch of generic high school whiners. That's right. First, we'll update your wardrobe so you guys look all cute and spiffy. Hook us up. Shit, boy. Hook us up. Shit, I'm trying to get right. I get to choose? Let me pick. I'm going to make you look fly. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's a PG stream. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, I'm trying to show mid-drift, though. Huh. Let me look. Let me look. Let me see. Let me see. Man, bitch, I look the same. That's not even an upgrade. I look the fucking same. Oh, at well, you gave me a little the little music notes on my hair. I see that. I see that. But it's not even a big upgrade, bitch. Huh, I'm looking good. Now you look more more like Ultimates. Yeah, he looks the same. Ultimates, really. So that's the memory you've all been waiting for. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, get ready. Once the seal is broken, we'll be in the domain of the killing game. K killing game? All right. Now then, after the flashback light helps you remember your amazing talents, this amazing story will begin for real this time. Okay. Can I see like some of the clothes? Oh, that one nigga look kinda clean though. I ain't gonna lie, Shawty, and uh, with the red hair, they kind of fucks you up. They gave you the big ass ah! UGG boots, and then well, old boy just looked like a mech, nigga. So long, Bro, I'm just looking at the fits. I'm trying to see all the fits, but they won't let me. Ah! 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 I'm that nigga. Uh, uh, uh. I see something about pianos. Don't tell me I'm like the ultimate pianist or something, bro. Fuck, that's so weak. Bro. Can I know how to fight? That is weak, man. I'm not trying to hit niggas. What? I'm you know, like Stevie Wonder, the, the Pierre Bourne or some shit. They put me back in the closet? I stumbled out of the locker in a daze, but as soon as I did, I fell on the floor. I, I couldn't even brace for impact as blinding pain suddenly rushed through my head. Okay, I'm going through the same shit in different clothes. This is a dream. I had to pinch myself, right? I'm literally going through the same shit, bro. I'm about to skip this dialogue. <laughs> I skipped. I was skipping there too. Yeah. Okay, she's saying some music shit. I don't know who the fuck that is. Yeah, that's right. Try to imagine what's uh, that sorrowful melody filling your heart and soothing your heart. Rise and shine, or shine. Oh shit. Rise and shine or shine. Huh? Oh, jeez. 
Huh? All right, so who who's the who's the mono cup that niggas fuck with the heaviest? The red one seemed like the leader. Hey. 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 That nigga broke. God, man. Um. I don't know that the tiger strikes kind of clean on him though. I have loads of questions, but for starters, where are we? This looks like a school. Okay, this place is called the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. Oh, we, okay. A little badass motherfucker. Mm. Um. Ultimate Academy, I never heard of a school like that. That's right. Of course you haven't. This school was made for you 16 Cretans. Huh? Hey, bitch. What does Cretan mean? <laughs> I'm a delink uh, I'm a I'm a juvenile. I don't know what the fuck that mean. That's right. <clears throat> yeah, there are 16 ultimates at the school. Huh? Ultimates? Well, you know what ultimates are, right? The government scouts them through this program called the Ultimate Initiative. Actually, ultimate basically means you're particularly pro uh, blah, 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 blah. prodigious in a uh, particular talent. <gasps> pro prodig prodigious? Basically, the ultimate initiative exists to cultivate talent throughout the country. Promising students are eligible to receive all kinds of special handouts, um, like free school tuition, voting privileges, el eligibility to run for elected office. They even get grant money too, right? That's right. Students chosen by ultimate initiative are known as ultimates. Hell yeah! Students would do anything for the honor of being a chosen ultimate. Um, I don't need the explanation. I already know because I'm an ultimate too. What? That means you got to remember this time, so don't forget anymore. Aww. Bitch, you took my memories. Yeah, forgetting about your ultimate talent is such a waste. Huh? He right. Huh? What do you mean forgetting? Shut up. Quit your yapping and get started already. Started what? So. Why is porn this academy, of course. Well. Also, you should introduce yourselves to the other ultimates, because you guys are all going to do an activity later together. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to talk to the holes. You know what I'm doing. So long, farewell. Peace. Shoot. Ah, they left, but I still have so many questions. Hey. This isn't a dream, right? What uh, bitch ass nigga, what do you think? The fuck do you think? Stop asking me stupid ass questions, bro. What what's your ultimate, bro? Slap your stupid ass. Not that hat off your head. Ask me that stupid ass shit. Hey. Uh, okay. <clears throat> okay. I'm Shuichi Saihara. They call me the ultimate detective, but I don't know about that. Ultimate liar. No. I know. I don't have the credentials to call myself a detective yet. I just happened to solve a case that I came across, and people, and now people call me that. No. Oh, I just stumbled into it. Nah, shut your dumb ass up. Not many people could just happen to solve a case. You should be more proud of that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. My, my name, name is Kaede. Kaede oh. I'm the ultimate pianist. Nice to meet you. Fuck. Y'all couldn't even like give me like a more raw, like ultimate producer or some shit like that. I'm trying to be like Metro Boom and damn man, whatever. Fuck. Hmm. Same name. Yeah. Well, no, uh, no one calls me the ultimate pianist. They usually just piano freak. Oh, you a freak, huh? Oh wait, <laughs> that's, that sound kind of wild. <laughs> That sound wow that sound wow with that picture that just came up. <laughs> that 
picture did not show up before I said that. <laughs> no, man. We not doing this, bro. <laughs> we not running that back. Ever since I was a child, I would play the piano when I, whenever I got bored. You just like them niggas. You trying to get rid of tough stuff, bro. There were even times I played the piano so much that I would forget to eat and sleep. Okay, yeah, something wrong. Something wrong with you. They had on that Eventually, little Fisher Price though. Trophies from concerts, and people started praising me. That's how you got your ultimate title, and that's way more impressive than me. No, that's all I'm good for, really. Shit, they calling me the next Beethoven in this bitch. I ain't even going to cap. Well, that's Stevie Wonder in this hole. Well, ultimates are scattered all over the country. They're difficult to find. Even so, there are 16 ultimate students gathered here now. Well, why is everyone here? Were we kidnapped? Hmm. If so, then is some organization out there trying to kidnap all the ultimates? Hey. Ah, about that. I don't remember. Huh? What do you know? Uh, um, I've been trying to remember it now, but I can't no matter how hard I try. I have no idea how I got here. When I woke up, I was in that locker. I don't know how I got that. <clears throat> I don't know how I got there. It's like that memory just fell out of my head. Uh, Same here. Huh? huh? You know? I can't remember anything. Even though I'm trying so hard to remember. Oh, ah! What did they do to my head, bro? They fucking up my cow lick, bro. What happened? Are you okay? What's wrong? No. Oh, I'm fine. I just got a headache. That's all. But can't be coincidence that we both don't remember what happened oh. to us. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Probably not a big what? That's nothing to worry about. You woke up in a fucking locker. Right. We're confused. We just need to relax. Is all. Let's imagine, bro. We... Stop making these music references. That's is that music? I don't really know much about music. I'm saying, I see, I see that's unfortunate. When we, when we get out of here, I'll share it with you. All right, but first, let's look for a way out. And if there are other ultimate students here, we should talk to them too. At least one of them has to know something. You're right, yeah, good idea. Oh, you know what it is? Or, oh my god, she be clipped that, bro. Come on, bro. What are y'all trying to do to my reputation, bro? Come on, man. What are you doing? It's me. Y'all know me, bro. It's me, bro. It's me. It's Satsuki. It's Satsuki. Come on, bro. My name is as good as gold out this bitch. Come on, man. Even though it's a hallway there, sure are a lot of plants growing around here. And the air here is heavy. Oppressively heavy as if forcing you to recall your fears, smothering you with anxiety. But this is just a, <clears throat> a school, right? What kind of school makes you feel like this? Hmm. Yeah, why is this bitch a garden? What's the matter? Uh, um... I just feel something in my pocket of my uniform when I looked. Remember. Uh, it's a tablet uh, oh maybe I have one too I know my backpack felt heavier um, monopad what did this get in my backpack hmm. my name would display it when it booted up like a student handbook I don't know what it could be used for but I don't think we should throw it away let's just hold on to them for now yeah. I'm not going to throw, throw away a good tablet anyways all right. Mr. Sayahara. All right. If you want skills, make friends. Strengthen your bonds. Be sure to test out all the skills. Also, there's one more important thing to tell you. You can save and load the game from the handbook. Make sure you save all the important stuff. Well, then off you go. Find your classmates. Alright. Shit. What you got on this monopad? That bitch got a... Hold on. Map, true bullets. Presents. 
Report card, school rules. All right, let's see. Kaede Akamatsu. Height, 5'8", 117, chest, 35, blood type O. Born March 26, likes piano keys, dislikes bicycles, ultimate pianist. If I say, yeah, I'm taller than your stupid ass. 128, AB, 32, September 7th, novels, dislikes, gossip, ultimate detective. All right. All right, I can finally walk around this bitch. Is this where I just came out of? No, I think I came out of B. Hold on, let me see what's in A or a C. Damn, y'all locking doors? You're right. Man, if this is Hope Peak. I would have been able to go anywhere I wanted to. Except for the lock places. But y'all gotta clean up the school, bro. This shit don't look fly. Oh, this for me. Come on, bro. I'm saying, open this door, bro. I'm trying to drop something. Do niggas die in these games? Yeah. You didn't hear what they said? Something about a killing game? That's the whole premise. That's why it's Detective Sotsky. Always and forever. Check out all these fancy smancy riding. Seems like a place for eggheads. Huh? Isn't this an ultimate research lab? You stupid. What the hell? Why would you tell them? We're trying to make it all dramatic. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. Huh? Ultimate research Yay! lab. We want you guys to keep honing your ultimate talent, so we set up these rooms for you. This is the ultimate pianist lab, but we set up labs for the other ultimates. Oh, so everybody gets like their own little... You know what I'm saying? They own a little studio. Well, actually, Most of them are hidden, hidden though. Um, By the way, the reason this research lab is still locked uh, is because we're still setting it up everything. Sorry we hustled to get it all ready. We'll hustle to get it all ready. Your asses and wait. All right, nigga. The hell you saying? <laughs> hey! <laughs> I'll bully you like a bully mo monodom. Monodom. Bro, you gotta you gotta beat that nigga up, bro. You can't let him punk you like that. Stand up for yourself, nigga. Before I beat you the fuck up too. I don't know if y'all strongest Monokuma, so I might have to test y'all real quick. Cause them robots didn't do nothing to me. Hey. Do you think there are really other rooms like this for everyone? I wonder about that too. Anyway, I thought this was a music room. Ah, I really wanted to play the piano. Oh well, I could play as much piano as I want when I finally escape this place. Whatever. We probably not escaping, but but visual novel, so the story is what the story is. Hey, you're an ultimate student, right? Can we talk? Bitch, you hear me? You heard me. Hold on, slap her real quick. Slap her real quick. Hey, hello. Bro, slap her. Huh? Wait, she st still can't hear me? Maybe she's a really detailed mannequin. No. No. We already saw a move with Teddy Bear. As I said that, I poked her cheek. Oh, talk to her. Yeah. What the fuck you going to do? Pussy. Pokemon doesn't work either. Then maybe she is just a doll. But she looks so real. Try uh, Shuichi Poke Poke. Uh, no thanks. Just do it. It's so fun. As I grab his hand and make a poke her other cheek. I never thought I'd be poked from both sides. How truly unexpected. Oh, now you want to speak up. Wait. If you do that, why did you make me poke her? I'm trying to get you. I try to get you a little case, nigga. You know what I'm saying that's a, that's blackmail for me. No. Oh, I didn't mean any harm. I was just deep in thought. You wasn't thinking about shit. So I thought if I ignored you, you'd go somewhere. See? We gotta choke. Check these rules, niggas. Um. But. Yeah. Fuck Rex. 
Right? Am I right? <laughs> well, isn't it rude to force someone to talk when they don't want to? I don't give a fuck what you want. See, I don't like you. I don't like you. I don't like you. Oh, but it's fine. I, I feel like talking now. Now let's talk. What do you want to talk, start with? Hi, what's your hi. What's your name? What's your name? My favorite uh door blah, 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 blah. episode is fifty three. The one with the security cameras and target practice. You know, we don't give a fuck. Mid. <gasps> My name is Tsumugi Shirogane. I'm the ultimate cosplayer. The ultimate cosplayer. Yeah, you weak. Tsumugi. Okay, some of these names are actually easy to remember. Shuichi, Sumugi. Wait, what the fuck is my name? No. I mean, it sort of made sense. You had this strange, almost sexy aura about you. I t we turn this bitch to a Yuri. I already told you. Look, she already know, nigga. She about to crack her knuckles. I'm about to move in. She not my first choice, though. So, get that out of your head, Kaede. Unless you cosplaying as Esdef or somebody like that, I bet it's because you got people ogling all over your curves on a daily basis, huh? Um, she really going for it. She she going for it. I like this MC. What are your choices? A sixteen year old girl? Yeah, Mac. You matching up a sixteen year old girl with a sixteen year old girl? Yeah. You want you what? You want me? I'm playing as the MC. You want me to be a groomer? Huh? Normally, I don't like people looking at me at all like that. What about Nato? Actually, I just like making cosplay I'm fine with others wearing them. But, but lately, more cosplayers are putting themselves before their characters. You're right. I'd rather wear my outfits myself with love than give people the the, the get up to people like that. Hmm. Okay. Oh. It makes me happy when I get to show people the outfits I've made. And thanks to my sponsors, like I use materials that are just plain expensive. Oh, well, of course, the ultimate cosplayer will have sponsors. No. It's not a big deal. People just crowd around like I'm a panda at a zoo. At the zoo. Mm. That's so amazing. You're pretty much a celebrity, you know? Hey. I mean, aren't we all? Bitch, we all have ultimate talents. Earlier, it looked as if you were thinking hard about something. What was it? Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, we needed to ask her that. Nice job, Sh Shuichi. That bronze, that bronze dragon statue over there. I'm just playing curious about it. That's it? Um, Is it missing the eye? It almost seems like it's floating, right? It doesn't look pretty. It doesn't it look pretty out of place. Yeah. Now that you mentioned it, you're right. It sort of bothers me too. Um, this is cool, right? But everything here is so weird, isn't it? There's trees and grass growing inside. I can't find any exits. And it seems like we're the only people here. Actually, Are we going to be okay? Are we going to be able to get out? Um, Bro, why y'all asking me? I don't know. Kaede, what's wrong? Uh -huh. he, that fr that frightened look on her face was sort of sexy. The MC is kind of a problem. But we're here for it. <laughs> this again? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, it's not a big deal. Our present situation is our main concern. Once it's over, we'll be good and dandy. I see. You're pretty optimistic, Kaede. You know what I'm saying? Ultimate hope again. Ultimate hope times three. Hmm. Well, people do say I'm carefree. Yeah, that's right. Wearing it won't you get it won't get you anywhere, you know. It's better to just be carefree. Yeah. Well, I guess so. Being all depressed won't help anything. Yeah. Yeah, so let's try to find a way out. Alright. What's your stats looking like? Five oh, okay, okay. I want somebody to have the same birthday as me. All right, so we talked to Sumugi. Who else next? Oh, I can. Yeah, I can finally go in here now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Sorry. They kept denying me in the first game. This is my time. Yeah. We in this bitch. And I'll go into the boys' bathroom too. Fuck y'all gonna do. So there's nothing I can interact with in here. Okay. I understand how the investigation mode works. Okay. Um 
Yeah, go in the bathroom real quick. Remember. You good? I see. All right. Why are you following me around, nigga? Get your own drip. Okay, lock this down. Now, what's in here? Now, I'm just doing a whole lot of just running around. Classroom A? Okay, they didn't lock this one. Okay, what y'all niggas doing here? Bro, calm down. I just walked in the fucking door. Please stop. That boy in white is chasing that other boy in the funny clothes. What's happening here? Hold on. He looked too happy, so I'm gonna talk to you first. Please stop. <laughs> Let me touch your body a little. I always wanted to be friends with a robot. Huh? What a robot. What what is it? Are you another uh, robo f <laughs> robo? Oh <f> <laughs> uh, yeah, he do look like a robot though. That's enough. I have a recorded function. If you made any robot robo f robo phobic remarks, I will see you see you in court. Hey. Wait, you're a robot? Are you for reals a robot? No. Are you one of those monocubs? Please stop. Do not compare me to those toys. I'm not just any old robot. I am K1B0, the ultimate robot. But please, address me as Kibo. Kibo? That's a, that's a, that's a nice-ass name, Kibo. I like that name. Kibo! I like that name. Ultimate robot. All right. I expect great things from you. You better put in some work. Hmm. That's not fair. You can't be the only one who gets to show off. That's not fair. You can't be the only one who gets to show off. I'll introduce myself too. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. I'm Kokichioma, the ultimate supreme leader. The fuck does that mean? Fake ass Sonya. By the way. By the way, I learned the hard way that a robot's breath smells like gasoline. How rude. I am powered by electricity. <laughs> he one of them Tesla robots. Elon Musk and them boys. That is not funny. You're not funny. Why? Of course you don't think I'm funny. Robots can't understand human humor. So if, or he being ro robophobic, nigga. Do not mock me. Don't mock me. I've studied the complete history of stand-up comedy. What you got in there? You got some Dave Chappelle in there? Dave Chappelle, Kevin Hart, Cat Williams. You know what I'm saying? Eddie Murphy, what you got? I think you should have just uh, watched stand-up comedy instead of studying it. Um. Plus, I may have the appearance of a robot, but I am a high school student just like you. Huh? Yeah. I was created by Professor Idibashi, the leading authority in the field of robotics. He installed in me a strong AI capable of learning and maturing like a human brain. That's why at the time of my creation, I didn't know anything. I was like a baby. But, but the professor raised me like I was his own child. He taught me so many things until finally he enrolled me in high school. How about this? And now I'm standing here before you all. See, I'm just like everyone else. Hey. Hey, do robots have dicks? <laughs> He's like, okay. All that cinnamon shit. Oh, you got a, you got a dick. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good question though. I'm trying to see. What's up? Please do not ask ridiculous questions. <laughs> Only ask because your backstory is pretty flaccid for a robot. Okay, Ko Kokichi. You 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 are you, you are right with me. Well I can see how being a robot might be enough to be called the ultimate robot. Hey Kokichi, I don't really understand your ultimate supreme ta Thank you. You asking the real questions, Kaede. What the fuck does that mean? That's the same question I asked about Sonya. Ah. Oh, I'm just a supreme leader of an evil secret organization. That's all. This nigga's Hitler? Niggas are just saying, just call him Kim, Kim Jong-un? Is this who he is? Huh? Um. 
I gotta say it's pretty impressive. My organization has over 10,000 members. Huh? Because I'm a liar. Who knows? I'm a liar after all. Huh? Huh? So you were just you were lying just now? It's true. Why well, I am the supreme leader of an evil uh, secret organization. That part was true. Jeez. So we lying or not? <laughs> I'm not telling. Okay, so he's Morgan. This is Morgan for real. This is Morgan for real. Hey. Ah. It's a secret, you know, because it's a secret organization. But. But I never heard of such a large secret organization like that. Maybe. Of course you haven't, because it's a secret organization. All right, stop asking about this shit. Oh, dear. Just leave him alone. Everything he has been saying has been a lie. You got a lie detector? He's a far more suspicious person than I am, that's for sure. <laughs> well, of course you're not a suspicious person, because robots aren't people, silly. Damn, he's a, he's a robophobe. Bro, beat him up. Do the... Do the fucking uh, robo blast something, nigga. Rocket punch. You ain't got one of them holes. He testing your gangster, nigga. Do something, Kibo. Turn to Kimbo slice. Oh, you're mad? Are you gonna hit me with the rocket punch? <laughs> I said that shit too. Hit him. I can't. I don't have that function, bro. Do something. You can fight, right? Have you been studying? Muhammad Ali. Oh man, you're boring. What a weird boy. He's like a mischievous little kid. This is no time to be joking around unless he really is an evil supreme leader. Kerr? Five one. Oh, that's a raw ass. That's a raw ass picture, though. That's a clean ass picture, bro. Okay, I did. I disrespected him, but uh, he, he his his design kind of it's kind of clean. Dislikes pig feet. He might be racist though. He's he sound kind of racist. Lights carbonated drinks. Ultimate supreme leader. What if he's like a clan member, bro? October 29th, 5-3-196. Okay. Dislikes vending machines. Alright, is that all the dialogue y'all gonna give us? I... Okay, cool. I'm <laughs> Why do you even assist? That's not what I was trying to look at. Shuichi, what do you think about this shit? You the ultimate detective, right? Hey. All right, let's leave. Right, let me go downstairs. Shuichi. Hmm. That's right. <laughs> Proceed with caution. With you at the front. <laughs> With, hesit uh, with hesitant sh uh, Shuichi leading the way, we carefully made our way down the stairs. Um, it doesn't look very dangerous to me. Oh, uh, well, some dangers are headed where you can't see. I see. Shuichi, you have quite an imagination, don't you? No. No, I just think you're not considering how dangerous this is. <laughs> yeah, maybe, but we shouldn't look around the basement, too. But we should look around the what? basement, too. There might be an exit... Oh, we should be more careful. Uh, okay. Be careful. You got a fire extinguisher? What does this button do? Slap that bitch. Game room. Oh, fuck. Ooh, got a little arcade in this bit. Oh, the midget here. Well, damn. I tried to ignore that midget. <laughs> yeah. Went to that door like I didn't even see his ass. All right, what you want, no? What now? What now? What? Is that a cigarette, nigga? How old are you, bro? Sheesh! What a strange place. 
When I heard we were trapped here, I didn't expect we'd have a game room. Um. Are we really trapped in here? There must be an exit, right? You've still got a ways to go. This nigga sounds 40. Bro, are you are you sure you're a high schooler, bro? Is it th that what you got you guys were are walking and looking around for? To figure it out yourselves. Yeah. Uh okay. However. We may be trapped, but it's pretty cool here compared to the prison anyway. Huh? Prison what? But you're an ultimate student, aren't you? That's an old story. What is he like the ultimate escapist? He talking about prison? Old story? Wait a minute. No, no, no. Yeah, reverse that. Old story. Ryoma Hoshi, the man called the ultimate tennis pro, no longer exists. Okay, what the fuck does that mean? I'm nothing more than his empty shell. Ultimate tennis pro. What? Ugh. Ryoma Hoshi, really? I see you in a newspaper. The tennis prodigy who single handedly took down a, a mafia. Huh? If I remember correctly. The paper said he shot them through the head with his tennis skills and the iron ball? What the fuck? <laughs> so you know that much already. Well, what do you think of the loser before you before you who used his talent to kill? But why would you throw away your future like that? Jeez. Because I didn't need a future anymore. Huh? No. No, it's nothing. It's not like we talk so much. More importantly. Anyway, I'm warning you. It's dangerous to just walk up to a killer like me. After he said that, he turned his back to us. What's going on with bro? That was a weird ass interaction, bro. He interesting as fuck though. Well, he he seriously got his back turned to me. <laughs> that nigga said, "Look back at it." Damn. What, what's this room? Library. Ha 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 ha. You're right. I see the next target. Ha ha ha. What's good, Vash? Uh, Vash. Uh, if you just got here. The new MC is this girl right here, Kaede. I already told people, yo, since I'm, I'm playing as a girl, we trans, but our preference did not change. We still going after the women. So this is this turned to a Yuri. Oh, does that bother you? Are you a deep freak, Shuichi? No. No, it's just I was wondering if someone was using it before us. Huh? Huh, someone. No. All right, so nothing. Let's just investigate for now. All right, let's talk to Shawty. What's up? She might be it. She might be the one. Hey. Are you an ultimate student too? Okay. Yeah, that's right. Huh? Is that it? She doesn't. Uh, she sure doesn't talk much. MC is good with their hands, at least. That's a plus. Didn't think about that. I. I'm. Jeez. Uh, okay. Um. Introduce yourself. Speak up. Maki Harakawa, ultimate child caregiver. She's a babysitter. I see. Okay. <sighs> Surprise! I don't look like someone who like kids, do I? Huh? That's right. Well, you'd be right. I don't like kids that much. I mean, shit. <laughs> Listen, when you in the girls' love world, you don't got to worry about no damn kids. You know, you feel me? <laughs> you feel me? I don't care. Maki. Kids are weird. They come to me on their own. I have your kids tucked into the bed in a record time. Man. <laughs> because she is the kid, Satsuki. She is the kid. And. Listen. I got Makoto Hina, I got Makoto Kyoko, I got Hinata Chiaki, and I'm finna get Kaede Maki. That's how we do. That's what we do. Mm -hmm. But they say kids are very uh, intuitive if they like you that much. Hey. Yeah. Kids, kids be knowing. Kids be seeing the truth. Then they could probably tell how loving you really are, Maki. 
Did I get you with that one? <laughs> Did I get you? Did that work? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that must be it. You chose the perfect career for yourself. That's wrong. It wasn't my choice to begin with. Fuck, I didn't get her. Huh? What do you mean by that? So what? Nothing. It's just I grew up in an orphanage and I got saddled with helping out a lot. Orphanage, huh? I see. Um. Ah, by the way, do you know anything about the mono cubs? Yeah, that's right. Someone's got to be controlling them, right? Any idea who it might be? Like I'd know. How would I know? Hmm. Well, fair point. Huh. The mono cubs are definitely involved in our situation. Hey, boy detective, shouldn't you have ar have figured out what's going on already? He, yeah, he kind of sorry. He is sorry as detective. He not figuring out shit. Um. Well, he's a detective, not a god. He can't know everything, but can he know something? Yeah. I mean, who cares about some stuffed animals? Escaping this place is way more. No. You the detective, right? Kyoko would have had some answer for something. Tighten up. Seriously, you think we can escape? We're at tight when I first joined, just lurking. What makes you think a group capable of that would just let us walk out of here? That's not true. If they won't end this, we, then we will. I know we can do it if we work together. What? Work together with strangers? Yeah. You sound like you don't got no damn hope. You're a naive fool if you think you can end this so easily. All right. Oh, she, damn. She the first person to leave. Hmm. That was kind of odd. She didn't even like the ultimate child caregiver. Jeez. Jeez, don't say that. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, I think, yeah, this is the library too. What's this? Huh? Break that bitch. Um, What's wrong? Um, this door barely opens a crack. Was it poorly built? I see. Well, nothing we can do about it. Let's search somewhere else. Oh, that shit mysterious, bro. Okay, that's the back side of the door. Okay, game room. Let's go back upstairs. Okay, yeah, I didn't go this way yet. All right. You introduced yourself before, but I forgot what you said. Oh, hey there. You guys get kidnapped too? Oh, you both look all right. That's good. No. Situation could be better though. You look like a fuck boy. Yeah, totally. Hey, Hey, let me ask you something. Do you guys remember how you got here? Um, if you're asking us, then you don't remember either, do you? Actually. <clears throat> ha, you're the same way too, huh? You don't remember anything, do you? I guess that means everyone here is the same. Huh? Huh? Everyone? No. I asked the others too. They all said they don't remember. So the others don't remember either. You got me. It's like we all have amnesia or something. But, but that's not normal. If everyone here has amnesia. Means... Well, I guess we're all in a pretty abnormal situation then. Huh? All right, why are you looking like that though? That's not true. No. Or it could be group hypnosis. Maybe brainwashing. <laughs> In any case, I hope we remember soon. Is he going to be our Nagito? Otherwise, I'll end up the outcast. Mm. <clears throat> the outcast? What do you mean? Do you remember more than what you let on? How should I put this? To tell you the truth, how I got here isn't the only thing I don't remember. I also forgot my own talent. That sounds like a lie. I'm kind of in trouble. I must know. I must. I know I must have been some kind of ultimate. I just don't remember. Um. Well, yeah. Of course it is. But then again, I don't blame you for not believing me. Oh. Oh, I never told you my name, did I? It's not like I already told you, but I then I forgot I did, right? No. No, you haven't told me your name yet. My name is Rantaro Mon. Okay. Rantaro. I can't remember my ultimate talent at the moment, but I promise I'm not a bad guy. Nice to meet you. I promise not a, I'm not a bad guy. Said every bad guy. <laughs> have you <laughs> have you seen a good guy podcast? We always got like, have some ultimate question mark question mark. For someone who can't remember his talent, he doesn't seem too shaken up about it. Actually, 
Is it weird that I'm not really bothered by the fact I don't remember my talent? Huh? Yeah, bitch, I didn't say that out loud. I said it in my head, nigga. Looking forward to it. You know, I'm actually kind of looking forward to finding out. I wonder what, what ultimate I am. <laughs> anyway, it'd be nice if you could get along. We aren't going anywhere for a while. Jeez. Stop that. We'll escape soon. You really think it's going to be that easy? What do you mean? No. Nothing. Just a feeling. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> hey, don't worry about it, alright? He look like a fucking hot topic model though. I don't trust you, nigga. Well, that's a nice ass fit though. School store. I got money. Let me walk in that bitch. You're right. Whatever. Shit, back in my days, we used to make, you know, the trap was booming in a uh, dining hall. We had that bitch jumping. This is a warehouse, it's pretty big. She the only one here? I wonder who gonna be the first to die. Knowing my track record is whoever I like. So, so far I like the super midget, so he's probably gonna die first. God damn it. Damn it, where the hell is it? Mm, I think I like our first fit better, but aviator glass is kind of kind of a nice touch. Hey. Bitch. Don't sneak up on me, bitch. <laughs> Watch how you fucking talking to me, bitch. I'm trying to turn into Yuri. I literally just met you. You already called me a bitch. Hey. I'm sorry if we surprised you, but you shouldn't talk to Kaede like that. Hey. Yeah, I got my white knight. Cot, cot, croak, 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 croak. Blah, 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 blah. You staring at my tits? Of course not. No, we would never do that. <laughs> Help yourself. A guy like you can only dream on, of landing a big boo hottie like me. Okay, she is shit talker. Go on, get yourself a good eye fool. No, no, I wasn't staring. My eyes just happened to look. Okay, so don't admit that, nigga. Deny it. Keep denying. <laughs> my eyes just happened to look there. Oh, my hand just happened to grope her. Ha, fucking virgin. I can identify purrs on sight, and you are definitely a fucking purr. <laughs> okay. That's why you wear that hat, right? To hide your skeevy eyes. And that's why you wear those pants, right? To hide your nasty crotch. Um, why is she grilling this nigga, bro? <laughs> Everyone knows that only purrs wear hats. What? What type of observation is that? Stop it. Shuichi, talk to her then. Leave me alone. I can wear a hat if I want to. Are you balding or something? You fold it? Oh, nah. She fold it like that? Tell the world you're sorry. If you started me into losing motivation, that loss would be felt across the whole world. Hey, hey your vocal language is uncalled for. Just who are you anyway? Really? Seriously, you don't know who I am? I'm the gorgeous girl genius whose good looks and golden brain will go down in history. I'm the one, the only, the legendary ultimate inventor herself, Mui Ruma. Oh, so she's May from My Hero Academia. She's May. May Hatsume. Ultimate inventor, though? What does she invent specifically? Because that could definitely make her a problem at any given moment. So that's why she has the little the aviator glasses. What kind of things do you invent? I make all kinds of gadgets, ones that let you type while you sleep, read while you sleep, even ones that let you eat while you sleep. Why does everything involve sleeping? Sure. I was inspired after I realized how much time people waste on sleep. <laughs> Though this one time I invented these really stupid eye drop contact lenses are as a gag. Huh? That's your invention? Some of my friends wear them. <laughs> your friends sound like total plebs. That invention was nothing. It doesn't make you more productive while you sleep. 
so it's a failure, just like YouTube. <laughs> I signed up page, uh, patent rights over to some company and never looked back. That seems like a waste. It's way better than your do it do stuff while sleeping adventures. Um, By the way, what were you looking for earlier? You sounded pretty desperate to find it. What was that? Eh? Are you a dumbass? In a situation like this, I gotta find some meds. Huh? Medicine? Are you hurt or feeling sick? No, idiot. I need some strong meds because I want to trip my fucking balls off. <laughs> okay, she want to get high? Ah! I was about to say, is that how she gets like inspiration for adventure stuff? She's just weird as fuck. Do you? Oh, you can't use drugs to get high. You definitely shouldn't do that. <laughs> she, what, she, why does she, she, she be folding like that? What the hell? My cheese can't be constrained by the wisdom of the masses. Besides, the place probably doesn't even have the shit I need to get loosey goosey. What do you be taking? Mushrooms? What? So are we cool? Are you done being mad at me? They say there's a fine line between genius and insanity, but she's definitely beyond the same. I don't know what to make of her. I don't know if I like her or what. So far, Ryuba is my favorite. What's up with uh, Shuichi? He's been quiet ever since Miyu mentioned his hat. Does he not like to talk about it? You got a ball spot or something under the bitch? What's up? He's quiet now. Maybe he doesn't like when people talk about his hat. Okay. Dino Hall. Oh, they changed the music as soon as I stepped in here. Ooh. Motherfucker spacious. Okay, we got the trap booming in this bitch. Let's talk to you first, because you look crazy as fuck. I'm yelling so I can build up my spirit energy. Don't you know you can unlock your brain's full potential by yelling to build up spirit energy? Well, I was right about her being weird as fuck. I've heard that pro athletes do that. It's supposed to help you focus. Yes. I must be prepared for combat at all times, just in case someone tries to attack me. She like uh, Jordan Clarkson. <laughs> Always putting his hands up no matter what. I will protect myself with Neo Akito. Huh? Akito, then you're... Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I'm, I'm Tango Shabashira. Yeah, the ultimate Aikido master. Specifically Akito, though? That's supposed to be like a defensive martial art as far as I'm aware what are you wearing on your head though I see. what did she say oh I always imagine a keto masters to be a huge burly guys but you're so cute so I got a I got a you know what I'm saying? Kaede got a little riz you know what I'm a little uh stop it I'm not cute Okay, we finally got one because Maki was tripping when I tried to compliment her. My face crinkles when I suck down or shake and when I wipe my face, my eyelids turn out. Huh? Mm. I see, but I think you're cute, right, Shui Shuichi? Uh, okay. Huh? Oh, right. What the fuck? Whoa. <laughs> what's, what's, what's with her? <laughs> All right, I'll take that back. What's, what's going on with you, shawty? I don't like to be praised by degenerate males. <laughs> okay. We doing that. Hmm. Degenerate males, you mean men? Are you uncomfortable around them? Yes. It's a way bigger problem than just being uncomfortable. If any degenerate tries to touch me, my reflexes to grab them and throw them across the room. Yeah. You're right. That is a way bigger problem than just being uncomfortable around men. Hey. Ah, uh, by the way, what is this Neo Akito you mentioned? That's right. Neo Aikido is the original form of Aikido that my master and I completely made up ourselves. So your Aikido is all self-taught? Okay. Uh, Tenko is a weirdo, but I, I liked her. Okay, we riding with Tenko. Tabashira. What you got on going on? Look like you got a witch outfit on. Yeah, so we're stuck here. What's up with her? Don't be scared. I'm sure we'll be out of this place in a jiffy. No. I'm not scared. It's just a pain. Something like this won't make me panic because I'm a mage. 
Huh? Oh, so I was right. Hmm. That's right. I haven't told you guys yet. Prepare to be amazed. Fall to your knees. I am Himiko Yumeto, the ultimate mate. Himiko. Y'all not gonna give her a little tire car? What, what's up with that? But I'm officially called the ultimate magician. Okay, there we go. Damn. I see. Hmm. I mean, it makes sense though, since magic doesn't exist. Uh, Himiko, do something for us. She, we, she not buying it. Huh? I'm not buying it. Do something for us. I, because I am a mage. Um, you're just a magician, right? No. She might be my favorite. Really, Himiko? I don't know that that I don't you you didn't get to see the the midget's dialogue. Ryuma, he was he was kind of cool. He said that he got out of prison, killed a nigga apparently or something. <laughs> I don't know, bro. <laughs> something something about him, man. Only on paper. Okay. I'm known as a magician, but that's just the rules. I'm actually a mage. Just a ruse. You guys might not know them, but there's a group called the Magic Castle, also known as the Hall of Magicians. It's where the world's magic lovers get uh, gather. I... I was the youngest person to ever win a Magician of the Year award. Himako, can you do something? Hey. It's all a ruse. Why you? They're keeping my magic a secret by disguising it as tricks. Because of this rules, I, be I became famous all over the world for performing tricks. Uh. But I'm not a magician. I'm a mage. Nobody believes me. Um. There, there. Don't be sad. Hey. Well, you could show us your man. I'm saying, show us something, bro. What's up? That's right. Get out. Of get us out of the school, and then we'll believe that you're a magician. Take us back when we were originally. No. Magic isn't all powerful. I can only do so much. Man, fake ass. Hmm. Yeah, what can you do then? You're right. I can choose the cards you picked, pull out coins, and release the. Okay, so basic ass magic tricks. If I get serious, I can even saw someone in half. Basic ass magic tricks. You're not a mage, bitch. Take off the hat, nigga. This... You're not a mage. Yeah, ordinary magic tricks. Literally the basic shit. All right, here we go. I do like the fact that you look very unenthused to be here. You get bonus points for that. Let's get out of here. End of the hallway. Whose room is this? Um. You're right. Jim. I can't go there either. Huh? Damn. What's the matter? No. I just feel strange. Um. Strange how so? Uh, okay. Like deja vu. Like I, I've been here before. Could it be? We might be caught up uh, in something even stranger than we imagined. Hmm. Well, it's natural to feel unsettled when we know so little about what's going on. Yeah. But we'll probably be fine. Um, what makes you say that? Because, because we have 16 ultimate students by us on our side. Are they on our side? One of them hates men. The other one called you a bitch upon the first time meeting you. One nigga said he's an evil dictator. <laughs> I don't know if they're on our side, bro. As long as we work together as friends, I just know something bad. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, nothing bad will happen. <laughs> Friends. Yes, we're going back. Oh, we couldn't get, go through here before, right? Looks like the iron gate opened. When did that happen? Did someone open it for us? Let, let, let's check it out. It must have got triggered when I went to the gym. Cause that bitch was our oh, clothes. Is this the entrance hall? Right, Shuichi, this must be the entrance hall, don't you think? Uh, okay. Hey. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. That door must be the entrance. If we walk through it, we could escape this place, right? No. I don't think we should open doors carelessly. It could be a trap. Do not worry. Whoa, nigga. I forgot the mask, nigga, was a person. All right, so you the other one. Worrying about that isn't necessary. I have already examined the doors. You wonder who is this? Yes, I should make that clear first. My name is Karekio Shinguchi. I am called the ultimate anthropologist. I'm not remembering that name. At, wait, Korekio. It might be a struggle. I'll try though. I'll try. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Oof. Okay, cool. Please call me Keo. Thank you. I see. Anthropology is studies, customs, legends, folk tales, songs, and much more. There may even be customs in your daily life, the origins of which you do not know. Let's see. For example, certain aspects of birth of birthday or New Year celebrations. Anthro anthropology sheds light on traditions and customs such as these through writ uh rigorous analysis it is a study that examines the thought behind culture faith and customs mm -hmm. okay i sort of get it but not really it sounds like a lot of fun though that's correct well of course it's fun this is a study focused on humanity beautiful i believe that human beings are creatures who possess an infinite beauty okay he a weirdo too but all right a lot of these niggas are weird but they are all right with me I find all aspects of humanity, even the ugly parts, to be beautiful. Our present situation is rather intriguing. What beauty uh, will be able to witness here? Humanity is beautiful. People are wonderful. This guy looks like a creep, and it turns out he is one too. Hmm. Anyway, we can go outside if we just go through the, those these doors, right? So. You should find the answers to such a question on your own. The moment your hopes are shattered, that too may be beautiful. All right, let's get out of here, bro. Shuichi. Uh, okay. That's wrong. Are you okay? Of course. All right, we heading out in this bitch, bro. Upon opening the doors, we're immediately greeted by blue skies, bright sunlight, gentle wind, and a cage. What the fuck? A wall? They got us in a bird cage. Don't flamingo, bro. Just because you lost the fight. Either way, the enormous wall struck a terrifying chord. The mere sight of his imposing presence was enough to send the waves of panic through me. No matter where we looked ahead, behind, above, or all around, the case surrounded the entire school. What is this? We're trapped? Yeah. What's I can going see. on? Rise and shine, Earth sign! Hey! Got a rock hard ranger. The end wall. Huh? That's right. Right now, you're on the threshold of an hey. amazing adventure, Shokai. What? Yeah. One. <laughs> All right. Jeez. Oh, this one is definitely the slow of the family. Stop la laughing and explain yourselves. There's nothing to explain. This is simply how it is, so please don't bother. You can't get out of here. That wall has no entrance or exits. It cannot be climbed or demolished. Well, actually... I mean, it's a big-ass birdcage. Can't we slip through that bitch? An ultimate could probably uh, climb it part way, but most of uh, most of the time it's impossible. What? But they still can sort of climb it, huh? I took a deep breath and shouted at the wall as loud as I could. Someone help us! Please help us! Someone, anyone, please help us! We're trying.
out inside this huge cage. Nobody's coming. Nobody's. Why are these niggas scared? I shouted as loud as I could, but for all my sh or all my shouting, there was no response. Scream all you like, no one can hear you anyway. Huh? No one can hear us. Hey. What, what do you mean? What do you mean no one can hear us? Wait. Say something. Hey. One of you, just answer. Damn it. Hmm. One of them is ignoring him excellently. He he, because he refuses to open his heart. <laughs> you can thank my fearsome bullying for making that happen. Hmm. Let's just all get along. Dumbass. We're the mono cubs. We don't need to. We need to be tough and whatnot. What is this? You think it's a school? What is all this? You bastards! Have to use your le legs, hands, and eyes to find out out for yourselves. But please watch your stuff while you explore. The school is uh, still under con uh, construction. I looked around. What's going on? Um. No. It seems more like they're renovating an abandoned school. Hmm. Either way, the construction will finish soon once we set the existals on idle pilot. Huh? Hell yeah! Once part of bi a biker game. Stupid. So long, farewell. Peace. Yeah, this prologue is kind of long, bro. jeez. Oh, I slapped both of my cheeks in this. Wait, which cheeks? <laughs> and as my face grew warm, okay, I can feel my de determination returning. Hey. Hey, Shuichi, let's see if we can find a way out. I slapped him upside his head just firm enough to get his attention. <laughs> Slap the fuck out that nigga. I like Kaede. She be slapping niggas, bro. I like Kaede. Ow. You know? Shuichi, I'm not great at motivating others, but we can't give up just because of a wall. We came in somewhere, so there has to be an exit. Yeah, that's right. We may not be able to escape now, but we'll do it eventually somehow. Everyone just has to cooperate if we all want to get out of here. Yeah, that's right. It's too early to give up. It's too early. All right, I see you, nigga. Oh, wait. Damn, I could run like that. Oh, I'm moving, bro. Oh, yeah, son. I'm moving. He not wasn't moving like this, nigga. Woo, dashing on these niggas, bro. Kaede with it. I got some speed feats in this hole. What is this? Dormitory? Uh, What's going on, bro? You look like a grown ass man. Is this hero? Jeez. Hey. Hey. What are you complaining? Huh? Huh? Listen up. Quit complaining and grumbling or or it'll turn into a habit. Besides, this cage is nothing compared to the vastness of the universe. The universe? Got it. Oops, I haven't introduced myself yet. My bad. I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. Even crying children adore the ultimate astronaut. Oh, hell no. Nah. Kaito? How about it? I'm an astronaut. Isn't that cool? No, nigga. I never been in space, so I don't know much about it. <laughs> of course, not just anyone can get up there. I may be an astronaut, but I'm still in training. I see. So you're still a trainee, you know. but I'm the first teenager to ever pass the exam. I mean, normally you need a college degree to even take the exam. Huh? So... I had a friend who was pretty crafty, so I had him forge some stuff for me. Oh, That's illegal. Yeah. yeah, I ended up getting caught. I was in a pretty deep shit so is that why you're a juvenile but the people up top decided they liked me and let me in anyway of course i aced his too 
Got it. Sometimes you gotta be a little reckless to make your dreams a reality. He's not lying there. No way I could wait till after college. I want to get to space as fast as I can. Got it. Yeah, everyone told me it was impossible, but I, but I never gave up, not for a moment. Oh, okay. Okay, I didn't I didn't like you initially, Kaito, but I, I respect the grind set, man. That's because limits don't exist unless you set them yourself. Okay, Kaito, talk. Talk then. Let's do it. There are no walls you can't you can't get over. The same goes for that one. Talk. Could it be talk to these niggas? Shut up. That's not the problem. Uh, no, that is the problem. Jeez, this guy sure talks a big game. His hustle and match. Yeah, I thought he was gonna be like hero, dumb type. But then he said all that. I was like, uh, okay, I kind of respect it, bro. He definitely still look goofy, but. Oh, okay. I see you, boy. My bad. Damn, got a little patio. This shit is, this shit is nice. Okay, you the person whose head... Oh, wait, your head look like it matches his, his body now. I don't know. Something's still off about you. I can't put my finger on it, though. Bro, you're not a high schooler. This nigga's not in high school. What the fuck? He built like Tyson Fury. Oh, this guy looks scary. He's so big and muscular. Um, hmm? Thank you. Huh? Sorry. Sorry for scaring. Um. Going to scary looking. Most people not want to. This nigga talks like the Incredible Hulk. Oh my God, bro. <laughs> Goats are scary looking. Most people not want to talk to Gonta when meeting for first time. Gonta, gentlemen. <laughs> He's a fucking caveman, bro. At least they didn't make him dark skin this time. They didn't give him the tan. So like gentlemen, Gonta say thank you. Thank you for talking to Gonta. Yeah. Uh, thank you for being so polite. He looks scary, but he doesn't seem very scary at all. Oh. All right, going to need to make introduction. Um, Gonta's name is Gonta Gokuhara. Gonta's talent is ultimate entomologist. Gonta want to become gentleman, becoming true gentleman. Gonta's goal. Entomologist. I don't know what that means. Are you going to explain it? Gonta. That's a really cute name. Thank you. You're actually pretty nice. Silly me for being so scared at first. Maybe. Go to scary looking, huh? Sorry. Oh, well, I got to look it. <laughs> I got to look that up. Entomologist. I've never heard of that until just now. The branch of zoology concerned with the study of insects. Oh, yeah. He is wearing like some thing on his. Like he's wearing like this fan, fanny pack thing. I guess where he, that's where he keeps all the insects. So he's Shino. No. No, it's okay. Go to used to it. Go to call scary since he was a kid. Um, since you were a kid, huh? Oh, going to kid going to bigger than other kids. Other kids scared of Gonta. So kid going to play alone. That's how Gonta came to like bugs. But when Gonta really focused, it's easy to lose track. One day, Gonta goes to the go to forest to find bugs. End up lost. That sounds rough. Were they able to find you right away? Yeah, took ten years though. <laughs> Bro, huh? who are your parents? But, but go to find new family took care of going to. Then you had a new family. They abandoned you in a forest, bro. Hmm. I'm glad they were nice people. Um, oh, not people wolves. Damn. So wait, why are you wearing the tie now? Suit in the tie now. Huh? Well, actually, the mono mono niggas gave you that fit. But. Because of former forest family, going to learn to speak bug and animal. Going to. As things going to want to show forest family what great gentleman going to is. This place strange, huh? Lots of plants, not, but no bugs. Huh? You, mean you like bugs too? Amazing. Oh, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> nah, he got a little too intense, nigga. 
We is not about to engage in this dialogue. This nigga got intense, bro. Uh, um, you want to talk, talk about, about fucking Rhino, Rhino or Speedo? That nigga got hype. I uh, know I wasn't saying that I like bugs or anything. Did you hate bugs? <laughs> he about to throw that. Hey, he about to throw that bitch. Nah, we good, bro. I, lo I, I love fucking spiders and roaches and ants, nigga. Huh? What? You hate bugs? They've been pressing Shuichi. That's not true. Um, you don't hate bugs. You love them, right, Shuichi? Okay. Yeah, of course I do. <laughs> I love bugs. Thank goodness. Oh, okay, that's good. No bad person like bugs. He was really about to put that heat on you, nigga. Hmm. That was scary. Phew, yeah, I thought you were going to die. Honestly, I can't stand bugs either, but it might be best to hide that. Yeah, we fuck with bugs. Okay. So there's nothing here. What is this? It's her love, and then it's that one blonde girl. Which makes me think that blonde girl is going to have a lot of importance, because she's... For her to be the last one is kind of, you know... Yeah. How are you? My name is Angie Yonaga. I'm the ultimate artist. Artist, okay. You're pretty cheerful. She's a bit too happy considering the situation we're in right now. We, bro, we need the we need the brightness up, man. We need these type of characters. <laughs> There's no reason to carry bad thoughts with you. You gotta live every day like it's bright, cheer, cheery, and fun. Cause Atua says so. Atua. Huh? Angie. The god of my island and Tua is always with me, speaking to me with his divine voice. Um, do you specialize in painting or sculpting? Uh, I do both. I paint, I paint paintings and I sculpt sculptures. But and Tua is the one who makes the art. I merely offer my body as his vessel. So divine. Yeah, <laughs> how divine. I see. I see. That's interesting. If you don't mind, can you show me some of your artwork? Of course. In return, will you make an offering? Um, what does what does your God take, bro? <laughs> does he take debit? Uh, Every Monday and Wednesday morning on my island, a truck comes to collect offerings. What? But, but, but don't worry, don't worry. When I say offering, I just mean a pint, a pint or two of your blood. Never mind. Never mind. She gotta go. <laughs> nice meeting you, Angie. You gotta go though. Sorry. I'm a bit in an anemic, so I'll pass. I see. I see. What about you then? They be pressing Shuichi. Huh? Why do they press him so much? Shuichi, I can't lie. You looking like an easy lick. Every time they, they, I look up, somebody pressing you. Uh, yep. Boy's blood is also an acceptable offering. Come on, come on. It won't hurt one bit. Uh. <laughs> She's kind of evil. This girl is so weird. How are you going to collect this blood, though? You're <laughs> need me. Uh, clears up. Come by so I can accept your offering. May a Tua bless you. Okay, bro. Yeah, we gotta stay away from Angie. We stand the fuck away from Angie, son. She could collect something else that isn't blood. All right. Not even Sonia was this weird. I don't know. So nah. So I can't say that. Bad. Sonia was hella weird, bro. Hello, with bro. Look at her picture, though. She got aura. I'm telling you, these, these pictures be so clean. They did such a better job with the, the visuals. 
These bitches clean as fuck, bro. Likes avocados, dislikes humidity. Okay, it's only one more person left. It's that mysterious blonde girl. What the fuck? Nigga, what is this? Um, you're right. Huh? Oh, there she is. Very nice to see you again. Very nice to see you again. We're intruding. Jeez. The hell you saying? <laughs> hey. Huh? Okay. Um could it be Stop it. Hey, Kaede, you got to accept this, this Hey, this I live a situation now. Okay, everybody's room. Okay, where am I? At? Is she like the ultimate maid or something? Wait, is this my room? Is that me? Yeah, that's me. They put me right next to uh Mew. I think that was her name. And my boy, the midget, Ryuma. Alright, uh May Lady. What's going on? But I failed to see their objective. Um, what do you mean? How? If they're holding us for ransom, a large facility such as this would be unnecessary. Furthermore, I gather they would rather care for us than hurt us. In light of this, I failed to see the true objective of the culprits responsible for kidnapping us. Culprits, huh? I never even thought about that. Why would our kidnappers go to all this trouble? 16 ultimate students have been gathered here, but why? What's the reason? Excuse me. Pardon me, I have not introduced myself yet. I am Kirumi Tojo, the ultimate maid. Please let me know if you require my service. Ultimate maid? See, I if if I didn't watch Danganronpa three the anime, I would have shitted on that title. But since old girl before had what was her role like the ultimate housekeeper, she she had that role and was like mopping niggas up, <laughs> like she was literally cleaning niggas up. I'm gonna give you some respect, uh, Kirumi. Ultimate maid. I see. She got the little spider web design on there too. You heard of her? If I remember correctly, an ultimate with an incredible intellect and strength, working as a private maid. I heard that her work is so perfect she can complete any request given to her. Huh? What kind of request she be doing? I do not agree. You be assassinating niggas? Please, you're exaggerating. I will not complete any request that is asked of me. I once received a request to annihilate a rival nation, but it was impossible, so I, reje I rejected it. But that's your limit? The fact that they asked you to do that, though. Okay, she's with it. We can't fuck with her. That's true. I like Haiti so far. Definitely a cut above Makoto and Hinata. Although I have warmed up to Makoto a lot more. I also heard that she's been hired as a bodyguard to serve uh, several foreign uh, uh, dignity. Di <laughs> fuck. I Can't say it. Agree. I've only been employed as a maid, not a bodyguard. I see. But you've been hired by so many important people. You're like a, sh a super maid. May I? Moving on. What do you intend to do now? Hmm. That's a tough question. Uh, what should we do? Um. What would you do, uh, Kirumi? I do not agree. I hold no opinions or desires of which to speak. I am a maid. As a maid, my only desire is to fulfill desire. Ah. I, I you know, I, I always respect the person to get the job done, but in a game like this, man, you gotta have you gotta have your own ambition for me to like you. You know what I'm saying? We gonna see. We, we I got my eye on you, Karumi, but I don't like that. 
So please think about what you desire for yourself and what you desire for me. For everyone. No matter the situation, no matter what happens, I am here to serve everyone. Ding dong bing boom. Let's get to it then. Thanks for pairing with us. You bastards! Alright! The opening ceremony can finally begin. Okay, we all going we head into the gym. Hey. Um You're right. All right, what's waiting for us at the gym? Damn, the maid left quick as fuck. Made it to the gym. I don't know though. These these mono these mono niggas ain't really cutting it though. Y'all not feeling the void from Monokuma. All sixteen of us have gathered. Mm. It's pretty spectacular seeing all sixteen of us ultimates got to gather here. You may not be able to be so easy going for much longer. Um. In this situation, there's no used thinking about things so eventually some Mookie stopped thinking what's going to happen to us I bet it will be a big pain hmm. what? what are you looking at Himiko. Himiko you can use amazing powers right because you're a psychic and stuff right it's magic I'm not psychic I'm a mage ah! that's amazing I definitely want to incorporate that into Neo Aikido how does that work Talking about it is too tiring. <laughs> You're pretty lazy. Please wait. Pardon me, but we need to be on guard. We do not know if and when will a danger will strike. Please don't. Don't say that. I'm so scared. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Kokichi be lying his ass off, boy, for no reason, too. It'll be okay. There's no need to worry. A tool will protect us. Thank goodness. Phew! That's a relief. Fucking moron. Is your brain full of weeds or something? I'll whack them out of that skull of yours. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just leave it to me. Leave it to me. If those teddy bears show themselves again, I kick all their eyes. Okay. Okay, Kaito. Wonder... You want to die first? What's wrong? See, that's my boy right here, Ryuma. See? Listen, hear that. Huh? Are they bringing in the robots? The Gundams? Whatever they are, they better kill off the Ugos to save me for last. Hey! By the way. <laughs> hmm? Didn't someone say they would kick all their asses? <laughs> Alright, Maki. <laughs> why you why you trying that nigga, man? Oh. What the hell? Nobody told me about these. That boy okay. shook. Alright, chill out. No need to panic. We're probably not in any danger. If they wanted to kill us, they have but they have done it by now. Then So what do you want from us? You clearly want something. That's what the guns are for, right? So oh, 
I don't know. I don't know what he's like. He knows information without getting it, but I don't think he's like reading minds per se. I mean, he could be because he knew exactly what I was saying when I just thought it. I gotta see more. Let me guess. You're gonna force us to do something. If we don't, we get hurt. That means... Well, you have our attention. So what do you want? And that's that. Well, aren't you a wise guy? <laughs> I'll start us off. Listen up. Here's what we want you punk asses to do. <laughs> My heart's going 100 miles per hour. I want, I'm going to say it. You ready? Hell yeah. It's a, it's a killing game. Oh, Mo Mondum, uh, uh, Monodum's talk. Talk to these niggas, Monodum. Huh? Let them boys know. Huh? Hmm. If I heard her correctly. Yeah, if you don't stop fighting, I'm gonna crush you with this here, uh, ex ex Exio. I don't know if I'm saying that right. You two, Moon Lasaro? If this is what it's come to, then I'll crush you for with here this. Okay. What are you saying? Oh, well. Okay, they, they finna fight? Hey, y'all about to fade? Shit, I got all my money on red. What'd you say, Jabroni? All my money on red. Let's get it in. Anytime, Jabroni. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Okay, niggas. Niggas doing uh Grandmaster Flash lyrics. That's right. Seriously? Are they gonna get it on right in front of us? Isn't me isn't that the same voice actress as Ibuki? Over us. In a situation like this, is he just going to watch? Either way, it's too dangerous. We need now, now, now. What? Who that? My cute little cubs. You gotta knock off this awful fighting. Oh, that voice! Father. Father. Daddy. That doesn't even that doesn't sound like Monokuma's voice though. Huh? Daddy. At that light, the lights in the gymnasium su suddenly shut off. We need a Monokuma though. Them niggas was not cutting it. Woo! The goat has returned. All these niggas are my the sons. God of this new world. And the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy. Yeah, his voice de definitely sounds a little different. What like why are they talking in a higher pitched voice? The one, the only Monokuma. Nice to meet ya. Okay, now it's sounding a little back to normal. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, another epic interest from Papa Kuma. How nice. Daddy is so cool. My little cubs. What's going on? Who you had kids with though? Please don't tell me it was Monomi. That's your sister, you sick fuck. You can turn it to the domestic girlfriend. The only reason I can tolerate your tiresome antics is because you're all so cute. Even when the prologue is going way too long, I'll allow it because you guys are too... He is right. I am almost three hours into this, and it's just a prologue. Yeah. Is this the longest prologue? In fact, the very first prologue ever was only short because you cutie patooties weren't there. That's right. It's getting interesting. How many times do I gotta say it? 
Did he just do a Kamehameha? <laughs> okay, they making fun of Dragon Balls. <laughs> they making fun of Dragon Ball Super. <laughs> Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. That's right. That's only possible when six Monokumas of pure heart are gathered together. They're li that's literally a Dragon Ball Super reference, bro. They're talking about when, like, they... Yeah, they're literally... Like, when they got together... It. Uh, what was that? That was the Resurrection Elf movie, wasn't it? Was that a Resurrection Elf movie? Was that Battle of the Gods? I think it was. I think it was Battle of the Gods. Yeah, I think it was Battle of the Gods. It's the power you bust out when you really wanna fuck the world shit up. That's how you let the, your kids talk. A power you only see when the gods themselves do battle. Anyway. Anyway, I'm not really mad. In fact, I got to admit that I'm actually proud of you guys. You kids really stand out from the rest of the second generation failures in the world. No way. Isn't that a little harsh? I'm sure there's some second generation success stories. Yeah, but I can't think of any, though. Slap the fuck out no boys. It's because there's none worth remembering. Corporal punishment is bad. Kuma believes in whooping his kids. But father remembers because he knows everything. All right, stop dick riding. Holy shit. That's right, Papa Kuma. You know all kinds of useless crap. Because <laughs> daddy gets all his alternate facts from the most trusted names in fake news. Okay, now they making Donald Trump references? What's going on? <laughs> What's going on? I love embracing my children. They're so cute. I can't help myself. Usually Raiders will plummet when mascots appear in sequels too much. But in this case, Raiders are through the roof. All thanks to the cute mono cubs. Seems like another teddy bear appeared. No. Yes, but this is no ordinary teddy bear. I can see it. The despair and madness swirling around that cursed thing. You're really First of all, I'm no teddy bear. I'm Monokuma. <laughs> And show some respect on the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. Huh? Headmaster. Hmm? It appears to be uh, be some sort of autonomous robot with a built-in AI like me. Dong, dong, dong. Yeah, but... That's right. Sheesh. Hmm, actually. Yeah, tell us about this killing game. What's, what's up with that? <laughs> How? <laughs> I just want you students with your ultimate level talents to participate in the killing game. Huh? Please stop. Why would we agree to participate in the killing game? You guys don't want to do it? Don't never do that. And another but if you look around the academy, then you already know, don't you? The academy is surrounded by a huge wall. You can't escape to the outside world. And as long as we have the, uh, blah, 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 you can't defy us. In other words, I hold the power of life and death over each and every one of you. So unsure. So do what you say if we don't want to die. You gotta be kidding me. Friends? I'm saying we just met each other, bro. No way. You guys aren't friends at all. <laughs> Your enemies out to kill each other. Huh? Enemies. We're enemies. Mm. I still have a lot to learn from fa father about sarcasm. <laughs> you gonna beat your brother up? Um, Daddy, instead of a killing game, could we do a rock, paper, scissors tournament? Listen to your daughter, man. She knows what she's talking about. Are you stupid. Who would want to play a game where no one dies? Hmm. Well, you do have a compassionate personality. It's so cute I could barely stand it. So Why, it's so cute enough to eat. Cute enough that I want to eat it. Eh? Hey. Hmm. 
Hey. Cool it with the stupid banter. I want to ask something. Ryuma, talk to these niggas. How are we supposed to kill each other? Are you going to give us weapons? Oh, he, he with it. <laughs> he with it, bro. Come on. What's, what the hell, man? What are you asking? But we need to get info from them first. We can't do anything if we don't know anything. No way. Okey All right, so if one of you maggots kill someone, you all gotta take part in a class trial. The class trial is where the blackened killer faces off against their spotless classmates. It's where you punk ass bitches argue over who you fucking think the blackened is. After that, it's voting time! And if the majority of you idiots vote correctly, then only the Blackened Killer will receive p, -p punishment <clears throat> So girl, just imagining all the blood and gore makes me want to puke. After the Blackened is punished, the rest of yous will just keep right on living together. But if you vote for the wrong person during the class trial, the Blackened gets off scot-free and all the spotless students get punished instead. I'm familiar with the rules. Hell yeah! Them's the rules of the class trial! I wonder if there are people who are actually... Damn, nigga. I wonder if there are people who actually played this game without playing the previous ones. If you do, you kind of a psychopath. I ain't gonna lie. Gross. Hey, um... How should I put this? Unbelievable. Listen. Yeah. yeah. Huh? If you do a crime, you get punished for it. That's like the most basic rule of society. But this is a killing game. So the punishment for murder is a bit more permanent. Okay. Hell yeah! I wonder if he's going to be in as bad for these punishments, though. Yeah. All right, this thing is getting boners from murder. Get a rock hard ranger! Yeah, Mono Kid needs to be locked up, bro. Oh, he definitely adopted. She's throwing up all over the place. Got a rock hard ranger. Yeah. <laughs> what? Well now. Thrills, chills, kills. Let's get to the heart pounding killing uh, school semester started already. To murder however you like, too. Like bludgeoning or stabbing. Feeling cheap? Try strangulation. Feeling lazy? Try poisoning. Whether you shoot, burn, drown, blow up, crush, electrocute, or laugh your victim to death, you can use any method you like to kill anybody you like, any way you like. Yeah! For gifted juveniles, you will realize your murderous potential. Sixteen talented teenage prodigies, all competing for first place in a killing game. This can't be the same voice actor, bro. I swear, like he sounds so different, bro. What happened to this nigga's voice? What happened to this nigga's voice, bro? He wasn't speaking like this, bro. There's no better setting for an event like this than the ultimate. I can't be the only one that thinks this. He's he's speaking like in a way higher pitch. You got me. Yeah, Monokuma sounded like Mickey Mouse at some point. Like, that's the exact same thing I was uh, thinking. What's good, uh, Vestos? <laughs> Risking our lives for some silly game is absurd. But 
Alex. But you're still gonna do it though. It doesn't seem like it'll be boring though. Kokichi, you a little too mischievous, man. Hey, how can you the generous be so calm? This has to be a lie, right? It's a lie, right? A lie, more like fiction. Like a TV, a story on TV. A scenario so removed from reality, we can hardly believe it's happening. It's no use. I don't want to be in a killer game. It's wrong. I, I never do that. <laughs> well, if you don't want to participate in the killing game, that's going to be a problem. Because the killing game is the only reason you're here. Huh? Unleash your talents and have a happy homicidal, homicide, uh, sidal, horrific, hilarious killing game. Oh, jeez. Oh, stop it. No matter what you say, we won't do That's it. Wrong. We'll never participate in the killing game. I'll do it. Whatever you have planned, I'm not going to let you get away with it. Um. Caddy, you should just rashly de defy that thing. That's no, no, nice. I welcome her resistance. That kind of defiant spirit is important to the killing game. It's fun to watch the defiant ones eventually snap and get their hands dirty. What What do you mean by that? Everyone loves that kind of br brutality in a death game, especially me. It never gets old. It's so fun and entertaining that I just get unbearably pumped up. Plus, at the head, as the headmaster, it's my job to force you to do it. It wasn't funny. We stood in dumbfounded, uh, dumbfounded silence, surrounded by the squealing laughter of the Monokuma and his cubs. Everything about the situation was so messed up. An academy surrounded by a giant wall. Sixteen ultimate students trapped inside. Mysterious stuffed bears and deadly weapons. And new friends forced to play some killing game. It all felt like something out of a sadistic work of fiction. A sadistic story. No different from reality itself. And against my will, I was now a character in that story. Fuck. Is that the end of the prologue? Hold on, let me turn this up for y'all. Hold on. They finally t turned off them sorry ass beats. That's what I'm here for. Oh, you you back Rex? Yeah, we about to end. <laughs> Stupid ass. <laughs> 
Life is just death, taking this time Who gon' take it from my hand? Was lonely before friends I'm holding my own hand And taking these bad shots Just hoping they go in Everything folds in